All right, guys, we're at example seven here. Uh, let f of x equal 3x minus 7. g of x is x squared plus 2x. The same two functions we've been uh, working with. This time around, notice the instructions say find each function. Example seven is different from example six that we were working on a few uh, minutes ago. Example six, you were finding function values. That is to say, they gave you an input and you found the output. They gave you a real number, a real number to plug in, and you found the real number output. Uh, this time around, they've given you the two functions f and g, but you're finding a function, not a function value, but a function. All right. So the first function they want you to find is f composed with g at x. All right. This is the first function they want you to find. All right, let's work this out together, all right? By definition, guys, we know that this is the same as f of g of x, right? I know that. We know that by definition. Now, the way this is going to play out is f of... Now, watch this. g of x is the same thing as... You can see up here, I'll highlight it for you to kind of draw your attention. g of x is the same thing as x squared plus 2x. So I'm going to replace g of x over here in my problem with what it's equal to. x squared plus 2x. That's what g of x is. So this notation now that we have is asking us to substitute x squared plus 2x into function f as your input. Now, when you look at function f, I'm going to draw your attention up here. This is your input value right there. So you are replacing that input variable, x, with the expression x squared plus 2x. So you know how your function f reads 3 times x minus 7? Well, now it'll be 3 times x squared plus 2x minus 7. In other words, it'll look like this. 3 times x squared plus plus 2x, and then don't forget, minus 7, all right? So then this is going to give you, you know, we have to distribute that 3. I'll show that. Distribute the 3 to both of those, right? So then you get uh, 3x squared uh, plus 6x, and then minus 7. Guys, this is a function. This is a function. 3x squared plus 6x minus 7. You and I already know that this function is quadratic, isn't it? It's quadratic. It's degree 2. Now watch this. Because it's quadratic, um, we can determine its domain. Because it's actually, let's, let's actually be a little more broad than that. Because it's a polynomial function, we can determine its domain. You and I studied dom uh, polynomial functions um, a while ago. And any real number input will give you a real number output. Um, this particular graph will be a parabola opening upwards, and we know parabolas go forever to the left and forever to the to the right. So we've studied how the domain of all of our quadratic functions um, is all real numbers. So because I know what kind of function this is, I know what its domain is. So we found the function, and we also were able to say what the domain is. All right, cool. Let us look at another example. All right, the next function they want us to find is g composed with f at x. Notice that they're just turning around the, reversing the uh, order of composition. All right, you want to give this one a shot? Go ahead and pause the video and try this one. All right, we're back. <laughs> and so um, by definition, this will be g of f of x by definition, right? All right, so here we go. So then this will be g of, now what you're going to see me do is replace f of x with what it's equal to. Now f of x is the same thing as 3x minus 7. All right, cool. So this notation says substitute 3x minus 7 into function g um, and simplify. Now, I just want to draw your attention to something. Uh, function g has two input variables, one right here, I'm underlining it, and right there. So you are 
replacing both of those input variables with the expression 3x minus 7. So the way that'll look is 3x minus 7 quantity squared plus 2 times 3x minus 7. So you can see we have some simplifying to do. All right. So 3x minus 7 quantity squared, we know that that means 3x minus 7 times 3x minus 7. Um, and I think I need to move this over a little bit that way. All right, cool. So um, let us as well, while we're here, distribute this to... Okay, so then this is uh, plus 6x minus 14. All right, very good. Um, over here, we're going to, a lot of you know the acronym FOIL, uh, which just means you need to distribute. So we're going to distribute 3x <clears throat> to 3x and negative 7. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times negative 7 is minus 21x. And we have to continue our distributing, so negative 7 times 3x, and then negative 7 times negative 7. Negative 7 times 3x is negative 21x again, and then negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49. Let's not forget to bring down the 6x minus 14, all right? Very good. So what we have here, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, we can combine these two like terms right there. Um, and also w with this one as well. Uh, so negative 21x, negative 21x, and then a positive 6x. Uh, at the same time, we can combine these constant terms, positive 49 and negative 14. When you combine all of these like terms, you get 9x squared. Uh, what is this? Negative 42 and then plus 6. So that'll be minus uh, 36x. And then 49 minus 14 would be positive uh, 35. Okay, positive 35. All right, cool. This is our final answer, which is a function, right, everybody? This is our function. Okay, what kind of function is this? Quadratic, very good. So because it's quadratic, you and I know what its domain is. What is it? All real numbers, right? Awesome. Okay, cool. Let us find uh, one more function. All right, here is f and g again. And this time around, they want you to find this composite function, f composed with itself, f composed with f at x. All right, everybody, like usual, I would like you to pause the video and try this out on your own. All right, how did you do? F composed with F at X means F of F of X, which is F of, now replacing F of X with 3X minus 7, gives you uh, F of 3X minus 7. Then you take 3X minus 7 and plug that expression into F. So it's 3 times 3X minus 7 and then minus 7. You see me distributing the 3, which gives me 9X minus 21 Combining like terms gives me my final answer of 9x minus 28. All right, cool. There's the function. Now, what kind of function is our answer? What kind of function is 9x minus 28? If you said linear, you are correct. This is an mx plus b form. So because it's a linear function, what's its domain? Well, you and I know that all linear functions have a domain of all real numbers. How do you know that again? Well, this line, uh, the graph would be a line, and we know that our linear functions, uh, the graph of them would be a line going indefinitely in both directions, to the left forever and to the right forever. So um, the domain is all real numbers. I could have also said that the domain is all real numbers because 9x minus 28 is a linear, is a, is a polynomial function, a polynomial function of degree one. All right, very good, guys.